Hello, it's Miss Janelle, and today we are going to take a trip under the sea in a yellow submarine and make a very fun ocean viewfinder. So let's get started. All right, so here is our yellow submarine viewfinder that we're going to be making today. And as you can see, it's two parts. So first we'll work on the interior part. So the way this viewfinder works is it's two cups set inside of each other and you spin the inside cup and you can see all the different ocean creatures through your porthole of your yellow submarine. So the interior cup, I have a colored cup, but if you happen to have paper cups, that'll work too. And then we'll just need paper, something to color with, scissors and glue. Very simple. So I had blue cups and I went ahead and did a couple different ocean creatures. You can see a squid, clownfish, and an angelfish. And I made some seaweed to kind of go in the back. So you can pick out whatever ocean creatures you'd like to put on yours. And you can draw directly on them if you have a white cup or if you have a colored cup like me. I went ahead and drew my animals on the paper, colored them and cut them out and then glued them to the cup. You can use whatever drawing material you have on hand. Now for the second part, we have to build our yellow submarine. So we're going to need to cut a hole into the cup and you will need help from a parent or garden to do this. I used a pair of scissors and cut my hole out. After you have your hole cut, you're going to cut the shapes of your submarine. So for the front of the submarine, it's a very simple shape. You're just going to make an arch or the letter D. And for the back end of your submarine, you're gonna kind of want to make it look like a fishtail. Very simple. Now the difficult part is going to be the little scope that comes out the top. That kind of looks like the shape you would see of a shower head. So what I did was made a similar D shape and then another kind of arch and then I made just like that. You'll go ahead and cut out all of your pieces and then you're going to create a little flap to glue to the sides of your cup. For the scope, you're going to want to glue it inside of the cup so that when you turn it around, it looks like it's coming out of the top. Now, once both of your pieces have dried, you can go ahead and put your viewfinder together and explore the bottom of the ocean. I hope you had a lot of fun making your ocean viewfinder with me. Send us a picture and let us know what you made. And I hope to see you very soon for our next craft. Have a good day.